This is where I put a hole in my camper so I can have access to my sales switch. Okay, I have a 2020 Northern Light truck camper. The problem I have is I come over, I hit that, turn it on the thermostat. Here's the furnace behind here. It'll blow cold air. It's blowing cold air. And then it's supposed to ignite and then heat's supposed to come out. I've done this before. It's gonna turn itself off because no heat's coming out. What happens is the sail switch, which is on the other side of the furnace, see it just turned off, uh, has either have some pet hair in it, because we have an English Bulldog, or some dust, because we bought this camper so we can go to remote parts, a lot of dust. Last time this happened, I took this off, undid every, all the, undid all the fittings and pulled it out after I called Northern Light in Canada. Now the problem is, is the part on the furnace that takes two seconds to clean is right behind here. The speaker, that's the exhaust. We got the access panel right here. That's the reset button right there. The reset button doesn't do anything if the cell switch is dirty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the furnace out, I'm gonna cut a hole right here and put an access plate right there. So in the future, I just have to unscrew this and I'll be able to get access to it. It'll be a lot easier than taking that out, unbolting everything. My hands are too big to grab all these. I don't know who puts them in, somebody with very small hands. And then pull the unit out and then take the sail switch out and then install it back all together. So this is just gonna make life a little bit easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to disconnect all these hoses. And then there is a security bracket that goes around that and then it's bouncing around that it holds in place it's going to be your propane before you take this apart go turn off your propane and burn it off on the stove okay what we'll do is we'll just let it burn out the system so we burned off the propane now we can disconnect the propane line that you put on there get that screw way back there Here's your unit, and that's where your sail switch is going to be, right there. That's the part. Uh, any kind of dust or dirt, see this dust right there? All I have to do is clean that. So I'm going to need access to this, so I can do this without pulling all that out. So that's why I'm going to put a hole in the side. If I'm in the desert or in the Sierras, I could just undo this one screw, pull this out, clean it, boom. I can have heat back in my camper in less than a minute. If you need to replace this piece, it's only $25. Okay, there's the exhaust right there. And we're gonna go right into the upper part right there. The speaker's above it right there. And there it is, all the way through. Get the gas going, I just turned it back on from outside. Okay, gas is going good. Still cold air. There, the furnace just kicked on, you heard it. And that's hot air coming out now, nice warm air. So that's all it was. So now when this happens in the future, okay, say it just blows cold air and cuts off. You can feel the heat coming out here now. Just unscrew this waterproof tight thing. I'm gonna add a little bit of insulation in here but that's the uh, sail switch right there. So now I can just remove that, clean it within less than a minute, and boom, I got my, without pulling everything apart and putting it all back together. Looks crisp, looks clean. Thank you for watching. If you liked any of this, please subscribe.